It'll be the perfect time for you. <laughs> and even if you miss it, they'll be perfect too. Everything's just perfect. You know everything perfect? Everything is perfect. Before I go, there's one little thing that just came to my mind. I spoke to somebody today, and maybe they were going through, and maybe one of y'all. Um, oh, you finally caught one. <laughs> I am savage. There you go. Your heart is giving the message right now. I literally feel it. Oh, thank you, babe. Before you all um, go, I want to say this one thing. There was um, somebody I met today. You know, I meet a lot of new people cause since I'm in a new state, right? Same here, Pamela. And so I met somebody today and they said, do you think I'm weird? <laughs> you know, you know, he said, um, well, you know, because I just met this person. I was like, what do you mean? I said, do you, do you think I'm normal? I said, I'm sure you're normal for whatever normal is for you. It's like, no, but what do you think, right? And I told this person, I said, you know what? I, if it was up to me, I think you're perfect. And the person bucked their eyes really, really wide, like not... In, in disbelief like right and I was like yeah you gotta be perfect you gotta be perfect because I'm perfect and this person just smiled like oh you oh oh because it's about you I said no but think about what I'm saying I'm not trying to bring ego into this but you met me I saw you here several times and here we are together. I am perfect and now you are in my reality. So there's something perfect about you that brings you here. So be easy on yourself and enjoy the journey. You're around perfection. Now maybe you don't see yourself as being perfect, but maybe I do. <laughs> so it gotta be something perfect about you. And so I wanna leave you with that too. You know, sometimes in religion, you know, sometimes our even our family, sometimes on our job, you know, when we get our little performance reviews, when they tell you, you didn't exceed expectation, when you get a report card and you just made the C, when mama and daddy, you know, whoop you or punish you or teach you to don't put your little star by your name, all of these things stop us in our journey from feeling or being perfect. But baby, you are perfect. I am perfect without my makeup on, with, 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 with just being by myself, without nice clothes or dress, with my nails needing to be polished right now. I am perfect. Why? How did I get perfect? I got perfect because I was made perfect. Through the eyes of God, my creator, your creator, our creator, you're perfect. So start looking at yourself as being perfect. I know, I know, if you came up in religion, that might be seemingly hard for you to grasp. Because religion might have taught you that you're just a sinner, that you're just a soldier in the only of the Lord. There is none righteous but him, so to speak. No, scratch all of that. That's the old program. That's the Old Testament. God darn it, right now, today, we're going to enter into the super conscious, subconscious mind state of being, and we're just going to be perfect. And can't nobody get, a, get us out of this perfect feeling. Nobody. Because we're going to look up on ourselves as that. So everybody outside of us has to respond to that. Because we're perfect. You're perfect. Embrace that. Say that. Believe that. Stand firm on that. And everything that's happening to you, whether you think it is so-called good or you think it is so-called bad, it is perfectly orchestrated by source energy because you are perfect. It's perfectly orchestrated to remind you of your perfection. And once you program your mind to believe that, life changes for you. When you program your mind to believe that everything that you want is being drawn to you because you're perfect.
You're perfect. I promise you, you're perfect. I ain't lying T to milk you up. I don't care if you're slightly retarded, been on the short bus all of your life. I don't care. You came for in physical reality from perfection. So as energy looks at you as perfect, why don't you look at you as perfect? I did a consultation with a lady and I was telling the lady, <laughs> Are you hard on yourself? She's like, yeah. Yeah, my mother was hard on me. Oh, really? Really? So you just gonna do what your mother did to you to yourself now? Stop being so hard on yourself. You're perfect. Just stop for a moment here. We're gonna press the brakes. We're gonna, whoa, Kimo, stop it. We gonna time out, we gonna cheat, take a chill pill and relax in the knowing that I am perfect. Today was perfect, tomorrow gonna be perfect, yesterday was perfect, my thought process is perfect, my, um, the amount of money I have in my bank account right now is perfect, what I'm drinking or eating today is perfect, my relationship status is perfect, my health and wellness is perfect, Everything about me is perfect at this moment right here. We're living in this right now moment. It is perfect. This has to be perfect right now. I don't care what you're trying to manifest. This has to be perfect because you have to be thankful for this here right now. You have to have gratitude for right now to get Whatever you want to be. When praises go up, blessings come down. So how about being perfect and being grateful for now? Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to share that with you. Be perfect. And so tomorrow when I come live on here, I'm going to be talking to perfect people. Perfect people meeting up at the perfect time to get the perfect experience. Everything is just going. Because we renewed our mind just now to be perfect. Just perfect. Nobody gonna t have to tell us. We just gonna hold that door. We gonna hold this momentum. What does perfection feel like? Oh, ask yourself that right now. What does perfection in me, what does perfection inside of me, inside of my heart right now feel like? Oh, perfection feels good. Perfection feels good. Perfection looks good. Perfection smells good. Perfection tastes good. Perfection is good. Oh, perfection is me because I am perfect. Yeah. I console with people all the time, babe. And if I could wrap perfection around them, tied in a knot so they could never forget it at home, I would. But this is a journey I thought by thought that each one of us individually have to go on by ourselves. And oftentimes we're looking for love and joy and perfection and this and that and the dirt outside of us. We'll look for it in the physical reality because we never found it in here. Oh, this car, this new car gonna make me feel better maybe? Really? Oh, oh, I'm gonna be perfect when I get such and such. Really? Because it, it could become a cycle. It could become a cycle if you don't truly realize that you have to be grateful, that you have to be content right here, right now, in this right now moment, because this right now moment is all that exists. And it can become a cycle where if you get the car, then you, you're gonna need something else because the car didn't all the way feel that whole. Oh, the car didn't feed it, so now I gotta get a house, and, and now I gotta, and now I gotta get a man, and oh, that man was the best man, so I'm gonna get another man, and, and then I'm gonna fill a hole with, with maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna travel, or, or maybe I'll, I'll fill the hole, and I'll, I'll get my eyelashes done, and then I'll fill the hole, and no, stop trying to fill the hole, and go in the hole, and find yourself. 
Because you're not looking really. None of us collectively are really looking for the car in the house. We're looking for us. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people spend a lot of time in life looking for something to feel at home. But what they're really looking for is themselves. They just want to feel perfect. They want to feel a part of something. Yeah. But you got to be able to release the attachments of all of those things and realize that it was you. Realize it was you because if you hold on to the attachment of the things and you're just wanting, 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 wanting and not accepting this right now moment, then when things are taken away, you feel that hole all over again. God dang it, this hole don't never want to get full. But if you feel that hole up with your substance of yourself by knowing thou, thyself and being the I am that I am, <laughs> can't nobody tell you nothing then. Then you allow things and situations to come and go because you know that there's laws in this universe, that there's law of, 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 of rhythm, which is tied to, to season. There's a time to be born, there's a time to, be, to die, you know, there's a time for laughter and then there's a time for tears too. And so you just get swung by the seasons and then so, so, so you could be happy this day, but then when the season change, you ain't happy no more. No, be perfect. So when the season change, you still perfect. Be whole, know thyself. So when situations change, you still whole and happy within thyself. Be complete in yourself already. So if something come and go and it is no longer their season, you are still complete and whole already. Don't get tossed by the way. No, 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 no. Be perfect without it. Be happy without it. Be love, be joy without it. Learn how to just be without it. Without your manifestation, without it, how you feel. Is it the end of the world if, if, if your manifestation don't never come? If I told you, you ain't getting no thing. Is that gonna mess with your feelings? No, you should be able to say, it was never outside of me from the beginning. <laughs> it was me that I was looking for. All the while, it was just me that I was looking for. The lover, it was me. It was my orgasm that I wanted to feel. It was my ability to open up my heart to the idea of love, unconditional love that I was looking for. It was my freedom, the freedom that was in me already. All of this here was the illusion, but the freedom was already in here all along. I had to bring it out. Bring out perfection in you, baby. So you don't ever have to suffer and ever have to worry no more. Bring out love in you, baby. It might sound like I'm saying something that's kind of cliche type, but you if you if you are semi-conscious. This is really who I'm really here for. I'm not really here for no Doubt and Thomas because Doubt and Thomas is just going to come on here and tell me some crazy stuff in the comments and he ain't going to change or learn nothing. I ain't really here for the all the way woke conscious people that think they know everything because they're going to comment and they're going to tell me based upon their journey and their knowing. Or their maybe even their ego. I'm really here for them people that's in the middle. Like what? I think I'm kind of figuring out what this lady is talking about here. Those, those are the really the ones that I'm reading, but the ones that's really in the middle. I, I think, I think, I think this lady is on to something here because you are the ones, you are the ones that have the ears that are able to hear. You are the ones that have the good soil. <laughs> And, and, and it is time to plant a new seed in that good soil that you already have. And if I can plant any seed in your soil today, baby, the seed that I will plant in your soil, it just tell you, baby, you're perfect. You're perfect. I promise you. I would 
has been my dying, my energy on here right now at this very moment because I got so many things that I could be doing and I had a long day. But it is my promise to you, from my heart to yours, you are perfect. And I want you to take that with you. I am proud of you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. You are worthy of nobody ever told you. If mama and daddy hurt you, never told you this. If you didn't have mama and daddy there to tell you this. If you had a long, shitty upbringing, if life seemed so unfair to you, let's erase all of that and pretend I'm mama. Pretend I'm daddy. Pretend I am the lover that you've been looking for. Pretend I am the person who did you wrong or cheated on you or whatever that shitty story was. Pretend for a moment that I am that person here in physical form for you to heal that freaking wound, to mend that heart, to bring you back to your throne of God. And I say to you, that is wrong with you. You're worthy. You're beautiful. You're love. I'm proud of you. I'm rooting for you. You can be, do, have anything that you put your mind to. I love you. Just the way you are. Right now, right now, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow for what you're going to do. No, 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 I'm talking about right now. Somebody needed that tonight. Somebody needed that tonight. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Oh, I'm so happy I came here. I am perfect right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm perfect. I've seen you at the beginning of my journey and you done came back around. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. <laughs> That's how that energy flow and that energy go. Yes. Perfect right now, Pamela. Perfect right now, Sunshine. Perfect right now, Amanda. Perfect right now, Anne. Right now, Anne, you're perfect. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, baby. Or every last one of you. Poppy, you're perfect. Yes, all of you are perfect. All of you are drawn to this life far from your subconscious mind to remind you that you're perfect. Yeah, madam, you're perfect. Every last one of you, even the ones that ain't commented down here. Uh, yes, perfect. Oh, baby, it's okay to cry. Ain't nothing but rinsing that heart off. Rinse it off so it can be at the rhythm of perfection, Pamela, because you're perfect. Because you're perfect, vital. You're perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's your journey, and you ain't gonna never get it wrong, says your subconscious mind, because you're perfect. Yes, Chrissy, you're perfect. You're perfect, every last one of you. Ain't no coincidence that you done met me on this journey. Ain't no coincidences that's happened in your reality, God. Not one. Ain't no coincidence that you caught me here at this very moment because your subconscious mind wanted you to get this information so you could be easy. So you could be easy with yourself because you're perfect. Now you take that and you keep that and you hold that dear to you because life is happening through you and we need life to happen to us while we embody being perfect. Because if it's happening through us, then everything out here gonna start to be perfect. And that's how that thing go. Thought by thought by thought. That's your new foundation. Based upon a seed that I just planted inside of your rich soil tonight. Your new foundation <laughs> is perfection. And so now that seed, it has to take root. And if you know anything about seeds, it's go inside of your rich soil. That seed now has to break open. Right? So that's, that's, that's the old thoughts. That's the old thoughts that you had. You gotta, you gotta break free from those. So it could take root and grow in your rich soil. You gotta water it. 
You got to keep on warring it. And that means that you got to keep on reminding yourself, oh, I'm perfect. And things are always working out for me. I have this rich soil right here. Yeah, my, my seed didn't get choked up because it was planted between the cracks. No, my seed took root in my rich soil right here. It took root. It took root right here and this time and place. It just took root. And it's going to grow thought by thought, day by day. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's the video. That's the message while well, just watching your videos and now you're live. Thank you for being here. Life is blessing. Thank you for being here. So anyway, cheers to new beginnings. My cantaloupe juice. New beginnings of perfection. New beginnings for every last one of you from your subconscious mind to you. Because I am only your subconscious mind showing up to remind you that you're perfect. Cheers. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. Y'all be blessed and have a good night. I'll see y'all tomorrow about 9 a.m. Bye. <laughs> that was beautiful.